Leon, I missed last week's when apparently you were very unlucky and played really well, but that is the best I've seen Wiz Beach play since you've been here. I thought to a man, they were fantastic. Well, yeah, where do we start? Um, where do we start? It's like last week we was the better team of 10 men against a strong uh, Anstey outfit. Um, we come midweek and we're miles and miles away from our standards. And then I said that to him in there before. And then we come out again today and 10, 15 minutes, another straight red card for the keeper. And you, you just think, oh, not again, not again. That was my first thoughts, not again. Um, but listen, we've put Wardy in goal um, with 10 men. And I, do you know what? I ain't got the words. I ain't got the words to describe how I feel at the minute about the boys. I'm so pleased for him. I'm so pleased for Keegan. Um, I thought he was a in there today on his first game back. Um, and then we, and then, and then what? And then we just, we, you know, I'd have took a draw. I'd have took a draw, um, and then we steal it in the 99th minute or whatever it is, and it's just pandemonium. But that's why we do it, and yeah. that is exactly why I get up on a Saturday morning after all this doom and gloom and doom and gloom for Saturdays like this one because my heart's bursting with pride for the boys, for the club, for the fans, for the chairman, for me and Brooksy, you know, just so pleased. I mean, it, how did it suddenly gel so well? Everybody did it, looked like they'd done exactly what you asked them to, everybody worked so hard, everybody closed down, it was just a brilliant performance. Yeah, well, we have a game plan and if you put a... If you put a high press on against teams at step five, they're not really good enough to break the press. It's if you don't put enough press on and you, and, you, and you think you're tight but you're actually five yards off, they pick you off on triangles and all of a sudden they break the press and, and they're on you. If you if you clamp tight and you make, you make mistakes kicking it out for throw-ins and in their half, they can't get out because they're not good enough at this level. And I said to the boys, you have got to, you have got to run through brick walls, you've got to get them burn, that burning lung feeling that you're not going to let them score, you're not going to let them have it. Uh, and I think for everyone that was in the, in, in the ground today, you could see exactly what, the, what I'd told them. Uh, they carried it out to, well, they couldn't have carried it out any better, especially with 10 men. Um, just lost for words. Honestly, I'm just absolutely um, lost for words in a, in a little bit of shock. Just so pleased. Yeah, brilliant. Um, and is this a turning point, do you think? Do you think they, I know it's been up and down, up and uh, down. Let's not get carried away. <laughs> you know, um, obviously, uh, again, we lose a player today. Cesar gets recalled by uh, uh, Grantham, and he's been brilliant for us. You know, um, turning point, you know, I thought we were brilliant last week as well. But then we put in another terrible performance on Tuesday, and then we put another amazing performance on Saturday. So if I can get four weeks good and... A one week average and another four weeks good, maybe that'll be a turning point, but one game isn't a turning point for me. Um but I just think it shows you guys what we're all about, what we're trying to do, what we're trying you know. Um just what we're trying to attempt with players that have never played together before, with young players. We're a young, young side. I'm trying to bring in experience. Um Max was brilliant today, a little bit of experience and about edited everything, put his body on the line, put his nuts on the line at one point. I think he got one cleaning but he, I told him to do that at half time because shots on the goal today we haven't got a goalkeeper in no. so any shots on target would, would have been a worry but fair play to Wardy to put corner after corner and he's coming punch things he's, he's getting the defenders off his off his toes um, just... Did you have a plan um, for a goalie in this no. instance? No, I've got enough to plan never mind yeah. if we get a goalie sent off um, you know. Has he done it before? I couldn't tell you no. I couldn't tell you but he came up he went I think, I think I'll be all right. Go on, Wardy. You know, yeah. what we got to lose? What at the end, When you get your keeper sent off and we ain't got one on the bench, no. if someone think, thinks they can do something, what we got to lose? Um, and he was brilliant. Yeah. And really tough question because I don't know who I'm going to pick. Oh, but Spanish guy. Did, did you have an individual who was the best who stood out today? Oh, no, no. Um, listen, I, can, I can't, cannot pick an individual no. today. Um, all 16 of my team that went out, um, the lads on the bench that didn't get on, Brilliant! I'm so pleased for them all. The, the guy, the guy I'm most pleased for is, is Key, and um, he's come back in after a tough two or three weeks away from the football club. And he look, he came in, and, and as my skipper, my leader, my right hand man out on the pitch today, he didn't look like he'd been away for a minute. And um, life's tough at times. Um, we know that, but there's much more important things than football at times. And uh, I think that kid's probably grown up. 
more than he's ever grown up in the last sort of three weeks. Um, so he's the he's the guy that this wins for, mm-hmm. um, you know, and and he's the one that it's for today. Um, without saying too much on that, so no, okay, no, I won't press on that. Um, so Cease has gone back. Um, no, Kieran Hamilton today. Yeah, I think there's been a mixed communication between me and you, Spenny. Um, I thought he had a two game ban. Apparently, he only had a one game ban. Oh. Yeah, so I thought he had a three game oh, ban. Oh, well, there you go. So, <laughs> so, so between us, we've got one, two, and three game ban. Don't know. Um, Kieran's been brilliant for us all season. Um, so, unfortunately, whether it's my fault or Spenny's fault or it's someone's fault, I'll take the blame on the manager. Um, he's, he's been left out, but through no fault of his own. Um, you know. I'm sure he'd have been. He'd have loved to have been in, involved in that today, um, but no, nothing's Kieran's done. Uh, absolutely not. I will be calling him as well <laughs> and just saying, listen, man, it's, you know, it is what it is. It, mistakes yeah. happen. Uh, we, you know, we're only human, so no, that's that. And finally, you got Anstey again next week, which I know you weren't best pleased with with the draw. It's not the easiest of um, draws, but no, yeah, you hope for. First of all, you hope for a home tie, don't you? Yeah. And then you hope for a bit of an easier tie. But unfortunately, we go into Anstey, who are, who are flying and go into a tough place. But, you know, it is what you can only beat your opponents or face your opponents that you get pulled against. You know, it's it's Anstey. It's not Liverpool or Man United or, you know, Man City. It's Anstey. So we'll go there in high spirits after today. We'll have a good training session on Wednesday. Um, and, and the boys will be buoyant anyway after today. You know, this, this, this makes my week. When I lose, I've said it before to the press, when we lose, I'm doom and gloom. I go home tonight and don't really want to talk to anyone and that carries on to sort of Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for me, but this will just make my week. So it, it will, the boys will come in, we'll be bubbly on Wednesday and we'll prepare for Wednesday. Um, it'll be nice to get a training session in instead of going game, game, game. Um, but yeah, just, you know, on that, that's just, it is what it is. You have to face everyone to win the cup. Brilliant. Okay, mate. Thank you. Thank you.